budget review. Oh, I'm sorry. Before we do, did you want to say something? Oh, yeah. Thank you. <laughs> I didn't. I, I was going to. I missed my opportunity um, first before y'all started. Um, it just seemed a little inappropriate at the time. But um, I am here on behalf of a uh, international scavenger hunt that I'm part of. For we have a team. Um, my team members are in Plano, Denton, um, Ohio, Iowa. They're just all spread out, and it's international. One of the uh, challenges that I have to complete is to have a tea party, like actual tea, not the political thing, um, <laughs> in a, a near impossible place to have a tea party. And so I have spoke with Karen Lighty over at the Freestone County Times, and yesterday we contacted the Fairfield Police Department, and then we contacted City Hall and spoke with the mayor, and everybody's on board. Um, we would like to have this tea party on South Mountain Street between Armadillo Point Emporium and the Fairfield Recorder in the middle of the road. Okay, <laughs> so we will take the picture. All we need is a picture. It'll take five minutes. Hopefully, that's all it'll take. Um, and we're going to get take the picture um, facing the courthouse. So we get the traffic light and the courthouse and say, hey, we're in the middle of the road and we're having tea party and we're having fun. And uh, I would like to invite everybody to come. We will have, we're gonna do it Southern style, we're gonna have sweet tea. Um, <laughs> we're gonna have sweet tea and we're going to have um, cakes. And, um, and have what? Cakes. Cake? Yes. Um, yes. Rex, your Brothers is making us a cake that will have the picture of the courthouse on it and say cheers from Freestone County. I would like to represent Freestone County on an, on an international um, platform, and that's why I want to do it and include all of you. So I thought it would be something nice, considering the times. We are going to do it Thursday evening. Um, we uh, hope to have the picture taken about 6.45. So we're doing it, um, they have the business after hours tomorrow. We're doing it after they're done. They should be done about 6.30. And we'll uh, have them all come down as well. So, yes ma'am? And what is your name? I'm Kelly Hodnett, I'm sorry. That's all right. Um, I did ba bamboosters for the past seven years. Uh, president. I recognize your face. Yeah. <laughs> I'm always around. I'm always volunteering for something. I'm a professional volunteer. Um, that's what I do. I don't have time to have a real dog. <laughs> too busy helping other people. Well, thank you for coming. Thank you. And 645 Thursday evening. Thank you. I hope to see you all there. Thank you. All right. Excuse me, Ann.
you don't take the county insurance. No, ma'am. And so we don't budget for that insurance. If he decided to leave us, we would not have enough money in the budget because we've not budgeted for our full insurance for someone. So the option is to go ahead and budget for it or to leave that out and make a transfer if that contingency happens. say at this point in time I think you're looking at about this time next year really having a good idea on where on where we're at and it being close to around either early summer or late summer into the fall as where that trial is gonna gonna fall could be September or a little earlier could be October or a little later so we're right in the change there of the year but I think we need to budget it's a contingency actually, 500000 from from our uh, unbalance. Because if it goes, we have to have enough money to cover that. I don't think we can say it's an emergency and go back and add to the budget because we know it's coming. But if we put it in that line item, that special contingency, we won't spend that money, that 500000 for anything else. So if doesn't go by the end of September, that will not be used. We'll have to budget it for the next year. Which this year we have a lot budgeted if we didn't spend, so it's not going to come out of the contingency. Now, the courtroom, we did have a little good news. Uh, they thought there was lead paint, possibly lead in the paint. So the people came to test it this morning. There is no lead in the paint. So, however, we got over that hurdle. Uh, but I don't know if we'll spend all the funds we have by the end of September. So we may need some money in next year. I'm sure we will need some money in next year, but not knowing really how much we will need. But whatever we don't use this year will stay in the fund balance and we'll just spend it next year. So it's not like we're adding on to any amount there. That being said, um, in the budget we have from current funds to be used from current funds, 300,000 for the capital litigation. Now, that's part of the difference between what we're showing here as revenue and what we're showing. 
so in his expenditure. We could change that and have that be paid actually out of our balance if we need to at that point. Once we've gone through all of this, see where we are, we can come back to make that decision. Um, of course, we know the raise, 2%, that'll be about 100000 So, at this time, let's talk, let's have, let's hear from any um, departments that would, if you know right now, you may want to come back later and talk about it, but any departments that would like to talk about anything that additional that they are requesting in their budget that's not in there right now. Before we do that, I wish you were going to $205.60, yes. Yeah. If we, if we did, yeah, we are. <clears throat> and that based upon the old tax rate? Yes. But not based upon not the new tax Not based on the new tax <clears throat> Because we had said that's a proposed, so we'll just have to figure out how much we're going to raise, what we're going to change in the budget to make this. <clears throat> Lisa, we 95 percent, maybe? Mm, probably 96, a little over 96. And eventually, most of it is collected through delinquents and that kind of thing. Most of it, but we still have some that they have to file a suit on and we try to get the funds that way. File suit on the properties and yeah. they get those sold and get those taxes. So, but at the current about 96, I think so. So, anyone that wants to talk about something that they need, I won't talk about our budget. 15 years ago, when we when Team Five got here, our road and bridge budget was $650,000, whereas one in three. That same year that we inherited $720,000. And the first budget we made, we always get the same amount. Same amount. But that was $720,000. 15 years later, we get $717,000. We've taken so much out of the road and bridge. All the people, everybody can come here and want something else. And we've sat right here and let them take it out of the road and bridge. This car must have softened it. All same when I got here with eighteen, nineteen dollars, it cost sixty-two dollars an hour. And people think they're having a hard time. They need to sit up here and worry about y'all and worry about our road bridges too. Because it's, it hasn't won up. Okay. And, and, and all the way that you can really have to your money is to do less with less people. Because you get an employee, you get three or four employees, you're spending Big part of your budget on employees and no material. That's something I want everybody to think about. We sit right here and tighten our belts up and we need somebody else to help me. And is that my right? That's exactly right. We, when we got here, we were we, were, we had we got six hundred fifty thousand dollars of now and we're not we're not even getting that much. So I mean everything's is everything's increased, everything's increasing. And when I got here I think I had four, four and a quarter employees, and now I have there was full time employees. At one time I had four and a half full time employees, and now I have three full time employees. So I'll go back and make a little schedule. You know, Road and Bridge has the amount has been decreased. The general fund in some some years. Is well, they used to be a deal when we did that. And so much with the same with the general fund. Went to road bridge. We changed that to the list of road bridge. We never had brought that back. Do you have anything showing those divisions over the years? Mm, I might be. Well, there's a difference. I'll be one of that. Yep. I can look. Okay, she can have you. And, and remember we, back, and we also remember back to where we gave the sheriff's department at one time, not when y'all were here now, but at one time. Road and Bridge, each commissioner gave a hundred thousand dollars to the sheriff's department, and then we took another hundred thousand 
out of somewhere else and gave them a half, and what, it, what a half, was it 500,000? No, we give them 25,000 each and we come back and give them 100,000 each. Okay. But that's already budgeted out of our budget every year since then. Yeah, what year that was? It was it was when, when Sheriff Billings was here. Oh, yeah. and, the, and the reason for that was to put the step raise and also was to because oh, I remember that well. But because it was it was also because of the oil oil and gas business. They they were saying there was a lot of a lot of people, a lot of things here, a lot of things going on and, they, and so they needed more. And now that's uh, that's gone. I mean, so what's going on? All that money is still being used at the sheriff's office, and now it's just about not enough. Mm -hmm. So we didn't gain any. It's not, it's not like we gained any. We're not at a gain at this point. We're still, <coughs> you know, we're we're barely getting by too. So I mean, our budget's cut to. On our part, we're backing up. Yeah. We're backed up. And this on these guys too. They they didn't know that happened. So we're still giving the twenty-five thousand out of our budget. One hundred twenty-five thousand out of each one. So you know, you know when that was. I'm gonna look back. Chip, Chip, no, it was there. Oh, I remember that. I remember it was that. Probably two thousand. Probably around two thousand four, two thousand five. It was on that page three sheet, but I didn't bring it back. Well, they started the step one. Step did. Yeah. Okay. All right. Is there anyone that would like to discuss it?
my coworkers didn't want to come here today because they are tired of fighting. They feel that there's no hope. So I am here today on behalf of our office, and I pray that each one of you can find it in your hearts to raise the county clerk's office pay to where each clerk makes the same across the board, and that includes clerk, clerk one, and our chief deputy. <coughs>
Well, I know yesterday we got two. So, so I mean, that made you have four. Yes, ma'am. Two to two more? No, sir. We got two additional letters come in yesterday. So we're still kind of getting so some. So we had six responses. Yes, ma'am. Four yes and two, two no's. no's. So if we change the way we do it, who, which, what's the law said? Who sits on it? County judge, county treasurer? I'm, I don't, I'm not on the committee. I just, it's kind of moderate. Be, be moderate. Yeah, okay. But who, who are the, what are the options of putting them on there? Judge Green, I have this. Thank you. I'll do that. I think it's third page back. Well, the other option is, let's see, the other one is Mr. Bottom right there. County, I think it's county treasurer, county clerk. I'm not sure. I read it one time. I'm not sure. The sheriff, the tax collector, the treasurer, the county clerk, the district clerk, the county attorney, and then three members. What I was going to, I wanted to do it the way we did it I mean, with, the, with, the, with the public side. They're going to collect this. But now, if you want to change it, it's not on me. Y'all change it. It's not like what everybody wants to do. If we send out for our, um, our 12 or other names and we don't get it, then we can go to the elected official after that point, correct? Well, this what is, what is this? First, um, the county
Let's draw names and then we'll go for the Thank you. 